The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. We have a action-packed and informative special episode today. We're going to be going through confluence numbers and what we're looking for in any kind of a bear market uh, after it's been running for a while and everybody has decided that uh, they're looking for lower prices. Uh, generally, you, at least for a short term, get higher prices. So we're going to go through uh, those and uh, look and see what your risk reward is. But uh, one of the best things I've ever found uh, is confluence for finding uh, just how much heat you will have to take if you want to stay short. Now, does that mean I'm right? No. But it does mean that uh, generally it's uh, one of the best. It's the best thing I've ever seen, and it works uh, over all kinds of markets, and uh, eh, I've been using it for about 15 years. So we're going to show those today, go through a bunch of those. Uh, in the meantime, of course, we had what I'm going to start talking about as a selling climax on Friday. We haven't quite turned around. I think that's part of it. I did uh, buy some calls uh, just lately here in the last 30 minutes uh, that uh, I foreshadowed earlier in the day with an update right after the open. I was waiting for everything to kind of come back. And in one of my other updates, I said that two o'clock was probably, you know, in this time frame about when the fund uh, guys are going to start waking up and start thinking about putting that money that they have to put to work uh, into the market. and. We're probably going to see that a little bit. Now, volume was about the same on Friday as it was on a lot of other days. Uh, and last time we came through there, we had about 18 billion shares. We had about 12 and a half billion shares on Friday, which is pretty strong for a Friday. Of course, this is going in uh, to the uh, Fed's uh, two-day meeting uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, so, you know... The, the whole thing of uh, James Wyckoff was this uh, buying climax, or at least it's one of the ways that he uh, call or described uh, when everybody decides to sell at once and it pretty much exhausts itself. Doesn't mean it's going higher, but generally it means that you're pretty much close to actually uh, finding a low. Some of the other things that make me think we have at least an interim low are how many Confluence uh, stocks that I found over the weekend uh, that we saw uh, most of the volume or a great deal more, let me put it this way, a great deal more volume uh, in, uh, in uh, retail traders than in uh, the dark pools. Uh, normally we're around 35%, 35, 36% uh, dark pool uh, sh uh, shares. It, on great occasion, I've, I've seen 29%, uh, which means that that 6% is being made up by retail traders uh, who are really kind of a drop in the bucket. So when you see that kind of really come in, you know that uh, the retail trader is starting to throw the baby out with the bathwater normally. Uh, also, uh, we saw uh, that uh, for the same volume, we saw a lot bigger dollar uh uh, for almost the same three days, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday volume, we saw a great deal more uh, dollar volume in, in the markets, which suggests that we are now selling uh, the generals, the, the big guys, the, the uh, what do they call them? Oh, the, the, uh, the Farks? What are they? Yeah, I forget right now. Uh, yeah, uh, the, all the standard, the usual, I call them the usual suspects. But that's kind of it. So does that mean a bear market's over? No. 
It just means that, as I've said for the last few weeks, don't be a one not uh, one note Johnny. Don't be a one trick horse. Um, the market's always going up about three fourths of the time and going down about a fourth of the time. What you saw on Friday was the fourth of the time uh, is a great deal more than generally on the up. But that doesn't mean that you don't have fairly decent uh, moves. Now, the market, uh, without the Fed doing much of anything other than job boning, is actually uh, done most of uh, the job of taking off the froth of the market. Uh, so there are there are some stocks out there that actually on a chart basis, probably not fundamentally and EPS and all that stuff, uh, are actually looking fairly good. So, again, it's uh, not a stock market. It's a market of stocks. And there's going to be some that do well and some that just go to zero. So you want to keep an eye on that. But uh, if you're down here testing lighter volumes um, and you've got some reason to think that uh, things could get better for those stocks. Uh, the one I had has, I think, 20 days to cover. Last time I looked, maybe it was 15. It was a god-awful amount. So I'm. it's kind of like uh, being in a powder keg and uh, having a sparkler. And one drop of the thing, and it's going to go off, and I'll probably make some money. So I, I do like that setup. Again, I like options better than holding the equities here. Uh, we have a market where uh, we could see Putin drop a nuke or drop dead. And that's where I really like options. Uh, you could have a, uh, uh, a fairly benign loss, as I am, uh, or a uh, uh, maybe a 500% winner on that uh, option for uh, Friday. So we're going to talk a great deal about uh, we're going to talk a, a great deal today about confluence ranges, and the reason why is you've got to know uh, that especially if you just got uh, decided to get uh, all uh, jiggy with it and short on Friday, that you're probably fairly late to the party. And uh, I talked to, to a great deal of many people last week. They said everybody they knew was. Uh, getting short, and all I could see was everybody asking where to buy. Uh, today, not a lot of people asking where to buy, but just how low we're going to go, and that's generally the kind of pessimism that makes at least short-term lows in the market. So we've got a lot of that going on. We'll do a little history when we come back. Well, we do the history now, get it out of the way, and we'll just get into the charts and uh, that later. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. It is history. And on this day in 2001, the U.S. government removes selective availability from its global positioning systems. That's GPS if you live in Lutz. The accuracy of a civilian GPS goes from about 100 meters, which is about 328 feet, to about 28 meter, or 20 meters, or about 65 feet in diameter and of course uh that's gotten even better and with multiple satellites you can look today at uh some levels of uh being within about three feet where it says we'll be back after this Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Uh, at the beginning of the show, we're going to go through a lot of charts today because you need to know where support is and uh, where resistance is if we get a bounce out of here. Uh, but um, of course, I wrote the art of uh, not the art, I uh, the art of uh, timing the trade charts. I did it to uh, enforce uh, a little bit of uh, rigor into me picking out where these. Uh, Fibonacci retracement levels are, and in the interim figured out that uh, why Fibonacci's work okay, uh, they work uh, at least four times better uh, when you get two that match up together. That is the 618 of one to the 382 of the other. Uh, and uh, I made it so it kind of did it automatically, which I was told was impossible. And, of course, as soon as I did it, the author of the, this method actually wrote it, uh, got somebody to write one for him that way. But, uh, you know, it, uh, it, I can find them. It takes a long time, and it takes a little while to go through them and figure out which ones are good or bad. Uh, but if they're very close, and what I mean close, I'm talking about about a half a percent. And maybe depending on how sloppy the market is, 1%, you're going to find out that you normally get very, very good resistance and support. So the first chart we're going to go to today is a, a bevy. I think that's how it's pronounced, A-B-B-V. And you're going to find that to right here at about 48, 49 bucks, uh, you've got a nice little, I think about three quarter of a percent. Uh, bar between the 382 of one and the 618 of other. Now, this is on the downside. So if you see something like this, you want to know, okay, eh, maybe I can start uh, taking a look at it there. And generally, the thing you want to do is have a stop, and that is any close below the bottom of that range, in which case this is 146.46 on the day. What is it uh, trading out now? 145. 84. So you get any kind of little bit of bounce uh, before the end of the day uh, back above that or wait until it closes back above it in a day or two. If you don't do much in the way, maybe just a few pennies below it, uh, but you get a close back above it. That's generally pretty good. And of course, uh, the first target uh, is uh, confluence on the way up. Or in this case, you've got a big gap down uh, that gap 
down starts at uh, 156. So, you know, you're gonna are you gonna retire on that trade? No, but it does give you a good idea of where you are in the market. Uh, let's take a look at some other ones out here. Um, a lot of times you'll have multiple close ones. I generally go for the ones that are uh, significantly closer than others. And this one, a little ambiguous, but uh, Abbott Labs uh, down to uh, 110.61 today uh, would set up, is that right? Yeah, would set up uh, 119 to 118. Uh, as I said, that's a little less than 1%. Uh, you even have one at a half percent at about 123. And of course, uh, a lot of these uh, are in the biotech sector uh, that has been creamed incredibly. But if you've been uh, short this thing and you're thinking, hey, it goes lower, um, these are the first levels where you're probably going to find resistance and the next leg down. But uh, in a short term, a lot of times you'll have a one day bounce or two day bounce right up to these levels. Okay, what else do we have out here? Aluminum of China. I know somebody that's uh, big into aluminum, keeps telling me. Um, this one's very interesting out here. Uh, it may take another couple of days to get this one to sort itself out, but you have two really good, very thin areas at uh, 1389 and was that uh, 1575. Um, so you can look at two of those. Now you have multiple gaps. Uh, your first target's almost always the top of that gap, which would be just under 13 bucks on this one. Uh, you also have a, a gap down that would act as resistance uh, back here at about, uh, what is that, uh, the high of the day, about uh, 14 bucks. So that sets you up if we do get anything, but uh, not back through its lows and certainly light volume today. Not a big volume stock to begin with. Some of the other stocks that uh, do have big volume uh, are uh, things like Boeing. Uh, and if you're uh, thinking that uh, it's the end of the world for Boeing, uh, that's great. Uh, just be advised that after this long ABC on the way down, that's pretty much completed itself, where would your first uh, opportunity be to reshort it or play it for a bounce? You got uh, 143.38 this morning at 8 million shares. Uh, it could easily bounce and not be out of a bear market. I didn't bring that up. All these could bounce to these levels and still not bust a bearish case on the overall market and or maybe even on the overall stock. So these are just bounces in a downtrend. But generally, these things, when they're that good, they go there. Now, this one uh, has a double gap at about 165. So that would be your first target. Maybe it meanders around there for a while. 176 uh, is the next one. And if we're still bearish when we get there, that's where your next ABC probably would start. Uh, let's take a look at some other stocks like Applied Materials, uh, which has a very good one. Um, this uh, testing the previous low with, uh, what about, uh, you had a, about nine and a half million shares uh, into that little uh, hammer candle on April 27th. Uh, today, you're into that with about half that volume. So in a downtrend, applied materials in a bear market could still go to 130.77. And uh, again, see how very thin these are. Um, also, you don't want to use these on minute charts or anything like that. I use them on dailies. And generally, I want a couple of months, if not three to five months, for these to set up uh, over a long term. And they give you a much better screen. Uh, can I look at IYT? What do you want on IYT? Uh, let me know. I'm not exactly sure what we're looking at there. Okay. You just have a giant trading range out here with more volume today, but uh, not the blowout you had on the way down. Just a big, messy trading range on that one. Okay, AutoZone. Of course, we've talked about how these are pretty good. 
Um, again, you would have known these numbers right off the top. You wouldn't have had to guess on them. You would have known. But guess what? AutoZone right back into its confluence range. That's, uh, what, 1953 to 1923. Uh, and it's pretty much stopped right there. You got a little hammer candle out here. And, of course, uh, as prices go up, people are going to be driving their cars longer. Uh, the auto parts business uh, probably going to be pretty good in the next few years. Uh, but uh, there you are. If you are thinking that you missed out on AutoZone, uh, you've got uh, a pretty good risk reward here again. Anything closing below the bottom side of that price range by confluence uh, means that you want to get out. So if you, can, if you can wait, be patient. Very, very good risk reward. Very narrow stops. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. As we come back, um, had a couple from the den here. You can, of course, also email me. If I see anything during the breaks, I'll bring up your stock on this. But I want to try to get as many of these through. Uh, if you need a little bit more, you can buy Tom's book. He does uh, and did go through confluence levels in it. So if you're looking for a tutorial. But I think uh, examples are the best. And, of course, you can always go to YouTube and uh, – stop these and go back and look at them. But uh, we're just talking about uh, Fibonacci retracements, uh, the uh, 382 of one to the 618 of the other. And when they come in that close, uh, yeah, looking for these is pretty tough if you don't have some kind of automated system. Uh, at the same time, I tend to love 
uh, these patterns that are rare. As we talked about for almost uh, 10 days, we were looking for those double repo patterns to si uh, set up. And then the giant flush, which we did get. You don't always get the confirmation on the double repos, but we did. And we got the expected results when you did get it. A uh, question about Hershey and how low it can go. Again, we're probably going to have uh, in this low some sector rotation. Everybody runs to the safety stocks on the way down or right before the way down. And then you get the big flush. And then everybody decides to change or look for faster horses again. Uh, Hershey got to 231. Uh, ideally, um, 207.80 is where you'd want to rebuy it if uh, you're looking for this. Now, there's probably going to be some consolidation moving back and forth, uh, but doesn't look that bad. Uh, okay. Uh, one that I did, I did a bunch of examples uh, for my subscribers this morning. Uh, and uh, Bungie has kind of a bigger one, and this is where I'm going to say, uh, that you, the tighter uh, that they are, the better off you are. But generally, eh, you know, a couple bucks on a hundred dollar stock is not bad. I just like them. The tighter they are, the better that they hold. Uh, and uh, Bungie here, uh, you get a kind of an ABC up. It's pulled back. You're right back at that. So if you wanted to be long this thing, and you think maybe the market's ready to turn around here. Uh, shortly, uh, then you want to be watching that. Now, maybe you're looking for uh, a sign to buy in the market that uh, we get some kind of rejection today uh, in the S&P. Uh, we close back above 4,100 or something like that, uh, or volume just falls out. Um, but uh, you're pretty much there. Um, and not bad because uh, you end up taking, well, 111, you're going to close below that, and you know you're wrong. Um, now, generally, in a market like this, you may even go below it and then the next close above it. But uh, if these stocks were doing well before the last few days, uh, probably a lot of people are going to come back to these fairly quickly. Uh, to, 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 what else do we have out of here? Uh, to, to, okay. Okay. Uh, does AMD look good? Uh, well, I, I, I'll let you make that decision. Uh, but uh, here is what you could get uh, in a in a medium term bounce on a, advanced micro devices. Uh, and again, very very nice setup out here that takes you from about one fourteen seventy five uh, to one fourteen twenty six. So you've got two gaps that you have to get through uh, to get back up to that level. And then you've got a gap right at about 118. That's probably going to be fairly significant resistance, even if you didn't look at the confluence levels. But when you have those confluence levels, they do set up fairly nicely. Uh, let's uh, make it a little cleaner here. Uh, so there you've got it. Anyway, 114.26. So... I know everybody wants to think that the end of the world is nigh, but generally markets don't go straight up or straight down. And uh, my guess is that they've got uh, uh, the market in a position where the Fed is going to have to actually blink uh, come Wednesday or be a little uh, more dovish. So I think we're probably fairly close there. But anyway, um, not a bad trade out here uh, in the high 80s to 114. Um, it's done it before, and that could just be part of an ABC on the way down. So, again, sell when you can, not when you have to in these when we're talking about them. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, BG's pretty much there. And if you're into mining, uh, that's kind of it. Uh, one of the inter more interesting ones out here uh, for me uh, was uh, – corn because everybody's seen it we want to think about just you know you've had a tri a, a tremendous run uh you've had what is a minor i'm going to say a minor double repo pattern and that is uh, 10 to 15 days above a couple days below a couple days above and then the next close below so you pretty much got that now 
Um, so could you see a pullback all the way to 26? Well, that's where uh, the buy of the summer would be uh, in the corn ETF uh, out here. Now, maybe you don't get to that, but uh, you got kind of a, a resistance level around the mid-27s. So it'd have to bust through that. But the buy of the century uh, would be somewhere around, what is that, 20. 591 to 2592. One penny out there. Uh, 2601. What is that? 25. Okay. So you're pretty good there, but uh, you already know that. Now, if you're chasing these all the way up, that's something else. But if you're looking for some kind of long term uh, change, uh, that's it. Now, we also have uh, some of the bond funds, or a lot of the bond funds. Uh, that we're in here. Now I just can't remember which ones were in there, but uh, maybe I'll think of them before or look at them during the break. But there were a bunch of them up there. Um, maybe it was the TLT. I, I don't remember. Yeah, it was a TLT. Uh, even this uh, sets up where you would want to go short again, or if the Fed decides to uh, fold like a $5 suitcase as it has in the past, Where's your risk? 126.03, 126.70. That's it. And that's pretty good. Uh, these take a while to develop. Again, uh, when you try to use these in interday uh, charts, I've never seen them work that well. These work on 30, 60, 90, 180 day kind of things. And you've got the setup here that shows. Uh, exactly where you're going to find uh, support and resistance. you got a couple of gaps, too. Generally, if I was going long on anything like this, I'd probably take my money at the gap because uh, generally just by the time these things chew their th way through the last couple of bucks, uh, you just, you're just you waiting for the next few dollars and taking a fairly big risk that something else doesn't happen. Again, like I said, uh, this is a market where Putin could drop dead Someone could kill him on the operating table if he's actually, in fact, getting an operation. Uh, or he could drop a nuke. Um, options probably a pretty good way of playing this market at the moment and uh, reducing your risk. When we come back, we got a lot to look at. I've got, uh, I don't know, I had about 400 of them yesterday, which is one of the uh, highest readings I've ever had. Conference levels. So... Do I have a really great uh, low in here at the moment? No, but uh, I think it's going to be kind of messy, but uh, looking for a bounce. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. What are we down? Uh, let me update that. I'm down 58 points on the S&P cash. Uh, Dow's down 443. Nasdaq's down 102. Uh, Russell's 2000. And no, I got a question. If I'm buying uh, the indexes, no, I'm not. I'm buying individual stocks because they did, generally are the first ones uh, to get uh, a bounce. And you'll have a lot of people selling into any bounce in the indexes themselves. Uh, so I look for either sectors and or individual stocks uh, to get anything. Uh, okay, so we've got the – what else do we have out here in my list of stuff? Uh, doo, 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 doo. We looked at Hershey's. Illumina, I think, was another one that uh, caught my eye. Um, this one, about the same kind of volume on the lows. Um, we'll see what's out here, but uh, if you can close back above – the nine uh, or the three by three or nine day moving average in the next couple of days, uh, 344 to 341 is where you come. We'll take a bigger look at that. Uh, if uh, the Fed totally folds, uh, you've got uh, 376 to 381. But uh, I like that. Uh, generally, I go with the tighter one over time, but you've seen the next two levels higher on this. But 341 is what you could expect and where you would, if you think this is just a dead cat bounce setting up, uh, that's where you're starting to look for your short positions. Uh, to, 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 what else is there? Um, of course, in, uh, uh, what else we have? Uh, Global Tech, JP Morgan. We'll take a look at that. Come on. Okay. Even some of these big banks out here. In fact, I found a, a lot of banks that looked like they were getting fairly close. Uh, you're down to a gap on the downside. Uh, but on JP Morgan, uh, 134 to 133.61. And again, these just you can see how these things tear up. Um, and sometimes uh, these ranges are wider. Uh, than you would like. And generally what happens on those wider ones is when you get up there, it just gets real messy. Uh, when you have these ones that are very tight with a penny, they generally just go right up there down and within a day, that's where you found your high or your low or your support or your resistance. Um, these big wider ones, uh, as I'm putting my mouse over it, tend to be, like I said, kind of mushy. You don't get real clear stuff. The ones that are fine like that just seemed, I'm going to say about 80% of the time, uh, to be very good uh, positions to take on the opposite side uh, if you're in a up or down market. Uh, we've got a question to look at uh, Micron. Uh, we'll look at that. Uh, and again, these semis have uh, had some fairly nice bounces off the top. On this one, um, you've got about uh, 80 78, excuse me, 78, 31, 78, 46. 
uh, where uh, the next real resistance level would be on any bounce. I do like this one mostly because uh, you've got the October 12th low, $65.60, with 37 million shares, uh, only about uh, 17 million shares out here. You had the first day bounce. Now you're starting to pull back. Uh, but, uh, you know, you have a stop below 65.86 or 65.60. Um, so one of the few times you could buy Micron and actually have some fairly decent risk reward. I do like some other things, the light volume at the low, which is, again, there's a lot of stocks out here that make me think we're probably going to get at least some kind of bounce. Um, the power law vector indicator number on my Micron, uh, on, uh, Micron was 14 on the down leg from February 15th, uh, to March 15th. Now, the start of the next leg down, March 30th at the high, into this low out here, that uh, went from uh, 14 to about 10. So we've got this energy leg down here that came down. We also have the second thing out here telling us that the volume's about half the resistance. You've had a little bit of a bounce. We're a little bit lower in the market. Uh, Micron is not. And you know that uh, 78.46... 7831 uh, is, um, you know, the first bounce, uh, which could be fairly wicked. Uh, but after that, these markets will probably be a lot more nasty to trade. But generally, right off these lows, off these big Fibonacci uh, confluence levels, everything's a little bit better. Qualcomm did one of the better moves out here uh, for earnings in a bad market in a bad neighborhood. Uh, even on NXP, along in that same neighborhood, uh, you have the opportunity for 193, 193.23 to 193.85. Um, now that may take a little bit longer. You have a little bit more of a uh, of a uh, range out here at 182.74, uh, but uh, not bad setting up in a few of these different sectors. Again, are you going to get rich on this? No. Uh, if options are cheap, that's the way I'd go. At least you have a lot better opportunity to limit your risk and get a lot more back in the reward. Okay, what else do we have out here? Okay, 877-927-6648. If you have any questions on this, we'll go to some other stuff out here. Uh, packaging Company of America oh, and Royal Gold. Okay. Uh, question on Royal Gold. Yes, you do have a, a nice one out here. Let's go ahead and get it out, but it's a little bit lower. Uh, so if you're looking for a low uh, to buy out here in Confluence, uh, you want to look at this level of 127.23 to 126. So you got to 127.54 today. You got a little bit of a hammer candle out here. Um, is it uh, going right back up to the top? Uh, looks kind of horrible. But again, uh, the Fed folds. Uh, gold could run. Uh, but uh, again, uh, you're probably not going to find a better place to buy at least royal gold against uh, support than you are here. 126.22 is the low. So you got about one buck. A close underneath that would say net, as Putin would say, net, net. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Uh, you may have another day out here. You don't have any real sign of anything else. But, uh, again, if you want to get in there, I don't know what options look like on it. But uh, this is certainly a week to consider options. 877-927-6648. Uh, if you call right now, you can get in before the close. Um, and we'll keep an eye out here on the market. Uh, but yeah, to me, a lot of stocks retesting. Uh, their lows from uh, Friday. Um, a lot of the bigger stocks still under pressure, um, like uh, Amazon. Hey, AMZN. Uh, what do we have out there? Yeah, that's so we got a little bit of that. Generally, when they're throwing the baby out with the bathwater, uh, the old saying, uh, buy on the uh, cannons, sell on the phones. Well, we certainly have. Back at
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we said uh, out here, there's a lot of stocks, especially these banking stocks, uh, look like they could uh, have a little bit. You had a lot of volume on Friday, not much today. But even a dead cat bounce uh, on Bank of the Ozarks, OZK. Uh, take you to 42.61 from, what is that, 38.10 from uh, Friday's low out there. It's not too bad. Uh, what's, uh, what else do we have out here in my list? Uh, S-Y-N-A. Uh, this one's got a really nice one, Synaptics. Um, Dead Cat bounced on this one in Confluence. Takes you to 203 from 143. Now, you have a gap at uh, right about 180. So, again, I like it when these are uh, better when they don't have gaps. They do send to work a little bit. This one's not monster. It's got a lot of volume on that day. Uh, but uh, could you see uh, a bounce in the market that takes us back into uh, the end of this month, into the three-day weekend? Uh, as I said, uh, going in two weeks, three weeks, four weeks ago, uh, we were talking all about having a huge downturn in this market the first week of May. It may have come a little early, I think. At least that's what I'm speculating now. And maybe we just kind of uh, dribble up uh, on uh, in the broad markets, uh, maybe into the, uh, uh, the uh, three-day weekend, the end of this, and then see Mr. Bear return uh, for his summer uh, and announcing that he uh, he may have taken a small slumber uh, but there was no hibernation 
uh, and uh, gone for six months. Uh, he was uh, just uh, just remember uh, in bear markets, um, you get a lot of up movements. They tend to be slow and plodding if you're not in the right stocks uh, in the indexes. They uh, wear your uh, patience out. Uh, I know I saw Buffett uh, bloviating this weekend. Occasionally, he does say something that's worth it. And he said, uh, the stock market's a great place to uh, take money from the patient to the M patient. But I think we've got a while to go for the next big down. If Eric continues, in the meantime, I'm going to start playing the bounces. So when you can, not when you have to. Cover when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you tomorrow. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people.